Hello everybody! Today I'm going to teach you some tips and tricks for getting the most out of the Libby app in the OverDrive website. Specifically, I'm going to teach you how to use the advanced search feature to find available books, books that are actually available for checkout right away. I'm also going to teach you how to search by narrator if you have favorite narrators for audiobooks. And I'm going to teach you how to make sure that you're checking out your digital items for the maximum checkout period available to you. So first let's get started finding available items. Now if you use Libby or Overdrive and you like to browse within them, for example if you like to browse the Available Now section on Overdrive, you may have encountered a scenario that I have encountered before, which is a book says it's available, it has the purple available ribbon, and then you go to check it out, and you get a note that says, whoopsie daisy, it's actually not available, but we can put you on the holds list. Now, I definitely recommend getting on the holds list by clicking place hold, but that can be frustrating if you are looking for something to read right away. So that's why I really like using the advanced search feature on OverDrive. Now, I use this even to do my browsing, and I'll show you what I mean. But first, let's explain something. Sometimes I get the question, you know, what's the difference between Libby and Overdrive? You might hear their names used in conjunction. Well, Libby is a really great app. It's a really simple version of the Overdrive website that's available in app form. So I kind of describe Libby as a companion app that you might use in conjunction with the Overdrive website. They both have the same collection of items. It's just a matter of how do you want to retrieve and use those items. So for example, I use the Libby app on my smartphone, but oftentimes I will search for items on the OverDrive website in my computer browser. Right now we are on cwmars.overdrive.com. Anything that I place on hold or anything that I borrow through the OverDrive website is going to be delivered to the Libby app on my phone. So the Libby app syncs up with the OverDrive website once you've logged in with your library card for both platforms. I really like searching through the OverDrive website because of this advanced search feature that I'm going to show you right now. So how you get to it is you click on this magnifying glass and then you click Advanced, and this will bring you to some different options. Now if I want to find something that's available, I'll go to Availability and choose Available Now. Don't ask me why, but using this method seems to filter out more relevant available titles as opposed to browsing the pre-made Available Now collections. So I use the Available Now feature, you can use format if you would like to narrow it down by ebook, audiobook, or Kindle book. And then I really enjoy playing around with this awards toggle button. Um, some people have different opinions on awards. You may take them with a grain of salt. They may not be important to you, but this can be a fun feature to play around with and see which items are available in each category. Um, so for example, if you really like audiobooks, you might want to look at the Audi Award winners. Those are for narration and production of audiobooks. There's also an Earphones Award that's for audiobooks as well. Um, some of the more famous prizes that are on here, the Booker Prize for Fiction, National Book Award, uh, Pulitzer Prize winners, Penn Faulkner winners. Um, if you really like uh, fantasy or science fiction, you might want to try the Nebula Award or the Hugo Award. If you really like um, horror, you might want to choose Edgar Allan Poe Award or the Bram Stoker Award. So this can be really fun to play with, and it's kind of a way that you can make up your own um, categories in a search. So let's say you want to read a Pulitzer Prize winner. It's been on your to-do list. You haven't gotten around to it. Let's go down here, click on the search button on the right-hand side. And everything that we're viewing now is an available Pulitzer Prize winner. The audiobooks will have headphones and the ebooks will have a little open book symbol. So let's say, oh, Underground Railroad. Been meaning to read it. I've never read it. Now's a great time. It's available. We go to borrow, 
borrow. And look at that, it's checked out to us. No wait list, no holds list. It's checked out to us until May 7th. So that's why I really enjoy using this advanced search feature, which again, you can get to on the CW Mars Overdrive website. You just click search and then advanced search from there. So that's a really fun feature to play around with. And in my personal experience, it has brought me less frustration in terms of finding an available title. So we just checked out the Underground Railroad and we can find that on holds. Oops, not holds, loans. We didn't have to go on hold. We can find that under loans right now in Overdrive. But if I go to my phone, it will be on my Libby app as well. And I can show you that right now. This is an example of what your Libby app would look like. If we go to shelf on the bottom right, that's going to show me what I have out now. So we go to loans, you say, oh no, I'm not seeing it. You were wrong, it's not going to sync up. But if we click refresh, since this just happened, whoop, there we go. There we go. The Underground Railroad is now available in my loans on my Libby app. So if I go pick up my phone, this is exactly what I'm going to see on my Libby app. So that's a great way to search if you're looking for something that's available now. Another feature that I really enjoy, which you can do in Overdrive or in Libby, is searching by narrator. So let's say we'll try that as if we're doing it in our Libby app right now. We go to library as opposed to shelf. Shelf is what we have out and what we have on hold and library is where we can do our searching. So let's pretend we're searching and if you have a particular narrator you enjoy for an audiobook, you can search by narrator. And this will bring up all the titles that that narrator has um, narrated on Libby and Overdrive. So for example, let's say you read Where the Crawdads Sing. You can be um, looking at that on Libby and it will tell you author and we can see right here narrator Cassandra Campbell. Now if you click on that name, it will show you more titles that have been narrated by that individual. So I find this a really fun tool if you've gotten to know a narrator, if you feel comfortable with their voice, you can always search their name in Libby or Overdrive or just click on their name when you're looking at the title and that will lead you to more books narrated by that individual. The last feature that I want to show you today is how to make sure that you're getting the longest checkouts possible. Um, the default in the CW Mars Overdrive system is a 14 day checkout. Um, and sometimes that's maybe a little too short for you if you're, if you're listening to an audiobook in the car or something like that. So I like to make sure that I check my items out for 21 days if possible. So let's go to our advanced search feature and we'll look at titles that are available now. Let's see, for the heck of it, let's just go see some National Book Award winners. And we'll click search one more time. Let's say we want to borrow Sing, Unburied Sing. When this button pops up, or this window I should say, you'll see an option that says borrow for, and right now it says 14 days. But what you can do here is click on that down arrow and then change that to 21 days. And then when you borrow, you'll have a 21 day checkout. Now that is all well and good, but sometimes you're in a rush and you might forget to toggle down to 21 days and then you borrow it for 14 days and then you say, oh man, I wish I hadn't done that. So what you can do is go to my account and go to settings and this is where you can change your default lending period for anything from now on. So I like to change mine to the longest possible period, um, you know, if you think you're going to need that time. If not, do what works for you. You know, you don't want to be wasting time of other people. But I like to do this default of the 21 days for ebooks and audiobooks because, you know, then I don't have to remember with each checkout that I do. 
So now that I've changed that in my settings on OverDrive, it's going to be saved as my default in both OverDrive and in Libby. Um, if you do want to change loan periods specifically from the Libby app, if you don't want to deal with the OverDrive website, when you are checking out an item on Libby, um, there will be a option where it's underlined in light gray. It says you are borrowing this title for seven days or 14 days. If you click on that little grayed out days, then you'll have this option for 7, 14, or 21. But again, you do have to remember to do that each time. So I suggest going into your OverDrive settings in my account and changing the default to the number of days that you would like. And it is um, always possible to return a title early. Um, say I realized I'm not going to have time to read Sing on Buried Sing. I can just click the return button here and return that title. And that's a great thing to do. Um, it just helps the holds go by faster. It's really kind of helping out your fellow neighbor. So if you can return an item before it's due, it'll give you some good karma and let other people use it. So those are my tips and tricks for getting the most out of Libby. Again, you can either use the Libby app on your phone or tablet. Um, you can use the OverDrive website if you'd like to on a browser, or you can use them both in conjunction like I do. And I find that that really helps me get the most out of the search features. So I hope this has been helpful for you, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks, everybody.